I'm so happy to have Nancy Chapin here at the shop today. Nancy is a travel agent. She has her own agency in North Palm Beach called Vista Travel. And um, she's been taking care of all of my rebookings <laughs> for the last year because I haven't gone anywhere, but you have. I have, yeah. I have. I just got back from uh, Ecuador, just got back from a 10-day uh, trip to the Galapagos, which was fabulous. It was nice to get back out again. What was the airport like? Oh gosh, the airport was really, uh, I have flown quite a bit in the last year, but the airport was really good. I mean, the protocols that are in place uh, are fantastic and you really do feel um, very safe um, and you feel they know what they're doing. Um, and in some cases, uh, in, in some of the other countries, almost over more than we do. So it's a, it's a, it was a very, very, very you, good you experience. You did not feel at risk? Not in the least. No, that's great. Not in the least. Where are other places in the world that we could start to travel? When, and when? <laughs> so the, um, Greece has just opened up. Um, and so Greece is going to be the first real place for people to go to. And a lot of the cruise industry is going to Greece because of that. Um, Europe is supposed to be opening up within the next, we'll probably have an announcement next week. Um, France is opening up in June, Italy is opening up in June. So it is slowly starting. Spain? Um, uh, Spain may be just behind um, uh, France, but within the next 30 days. And Portugal? Portugal as well. Yeah. Portugal and Spain will be about, about, about the same timing. But Central Europe and Northern Europe are still yeah, I mean, I think they're, I think they're, you know, like, like we are in this country, you can take a turn for the good so quickly, you yeah, know, the, yeah. uh, the, the vaccines are in place. And as soon as people are vaccinated, you see the numbers start to decline. So the numbers are definitely declining in Europe. And uh, they're now going to be allowing um, Americans to come in, which they haven't allowed them to come in, but they're going to be allowing to come in with vaccination, proof of vaccination. And of course, CDC has told us that we don't need to wear masks anymore or social distance provided we've had both vaccines and waited two weeks. Yeah, but the airlines are still going to require it. So yeah. which I think is a good thing. Yeah. And I think that right. I think it's you find that most places and especially traveling in Europe, there's going to be a level of yeah. some people saying yes, we want you to wear them and some not. So I think there's going to be a, some flexibility there. And what about the passport certificate that I hear about the travel the, ch the inoculation chart and so forth. What are they doing with that? Well, right now, nothing. I mean, it's they're doing it for Europe. Um, our governor has said that it's an invasion of privacy. So in Florida, it's right now on hold. Um, but they're going to have to come up with something yeah. because if you require a vaccination card, certification of vaccination, they need to have something that otherwise these cards are very easily duplicated. Where are you going? What if, what are, are you going to Greece? I am going to agree. So I think that what's happening with the cruise lines are starting to open up. Um, the first cruises are going to be, the smaller ships are opened up now in the U.S. Uh, and in Europe. They are going to be the bigger ships, um, even Seabourn, uh, Crystal, they're all going to start really in July. Uh, they'll start in... Just to the Greek Isles. Greek Isles. They're also starting up in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean. Um, for okay. Seabourn. Okay. They will require vaccinations for um, sailing. So all guests on board will be vaccinated, oh, which, yeah, is, makes... which is great. Uh, great for those of us who believe in yeah. having the vaccination. Right. Right. And yeah, I mean, uh, my next uh, international trip will be going to Turkey in September and then on to Greece and on to Croatia. Croatia is open now. It has been open the entire time. So is Montenegro. So as long as you have a, a proof of vaccination um, or you can get a negative PCR test to get in. I see you're wearing a Mary G. Is this part of your travel? You know, uh, it is. Basics? This, 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 this uh, it's the Mary G, if that's the name of it. Yeah. I just know the yeah. color. I have yeah. this in a variety of colors. Um, I, I, you can, I mean, like me, you can wad it up and it comes out yeah. looking great. Yeah. It goes in the washer and dryer, which yeah. is even better. And um, it's wonderful. I mean, it's a, it's, it, people should look at them. And you have a Palm Beach mask as your uh, coordinating mask for when it, when you're at the airport. Exactly. That's you neat. definitely have so to wear them at the air, airport. So, Planes and trains and boats and we'll still be wearing masks for these transportation events. I think for the transportation, yeah. not necessarily yeah. on cruise ships. I, that's still yeah. to be determined. Yeah. But if everybody is vaccinated, um, the idea is that people wouldn't necessarily have to be wearing masks. Right. Um, certainly not outdoors. 
and it will slowly start to open up. I mean, our numbers are getting better and better and better. So it's um, start to open back up again. Well, I have some uh, wonderful travel pieces that I always, I always travel with. And one of them, we just got back into stock. I don't know if you have this. This is mine. This is a fresh one. But it's a, um, it's a tiny wallet and it has everything. You can see That's how, fantastic. How yeah. easy it is. Um, I have my money in here. How wonderful is that? That's I great. I have my license here. I don't know if you can see this. I have my um, health, my, my uh, health information here, my license here, my money here. And then this uh, has all of my important credit cards that are safe. They're, they're safe from being They're quick and on big. They're yeah. sort of. Yeah. Yeah, there, and you don't even have to take the card out for it to uh, to be accessed. That's right. So it, yeah, it's a great little travel item, and it's so small you can put it into an eating bag. Uh, of course, scarves and jewelry and hats, great accessories for traveling. For sure, uh, you you can wear a shirt like this in black, and change and it up. change it at ten days. You could you could wear it and rinse it out at night if you needed to, and it would be dry in the morning and you could just carry on. And I think in this new world, we are gonna be so much happier with less luggage. I think we well, need I think to that's, get- Well, I think that is definitely the yeah. case. And I think yeah. also, you know, when I've, you know, when I've done my uh, Europe trips in the winter when I'm looking at hotels, I can do it in a carry-on because yes. literally between taking the top and wearing it and scarves and scarves and scarves, and then Mary was great and showed me the magic coat, Yes. which is fabulous yes. because I it, have a picture of you in it which it's we fabulous. will have on our you literally our can, I can do you yeah. I can do Europe in 10 days in a yeah. carry on which I know sounds crazy but you can definitely do it if you have the right fabrics in the in your clothes. Well, let's talk next time or maybe we should do it on a on a on one of our blogs okay. together about all the great travel basics that you use in your wardrobe great. when you're traveling and I use because it really you really don't have to carry so much luggage. No, you do not. You do not. <laughs> Thank you. Not. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mary. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. It was fun.